Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today it's just a real quick video. Um, I read a few posts where people were saying that they got their new GMK67 but they had to take it apart because there was plastic on top of the PCB and it was bending pens. Um, and I was curious about that. So I did, if you guys want to get a GMK67 um, and you can buy it from Amazon, but you will pay a little bit more if you want to get it. I got this one for $21.50, $21.50 plus tax and free shipping. Um, if you have browsed AliExpress before, um, or if you haven't, create an account, log in, go search for some keyboards, search for the GMK67. Then go back to the home page and click on Super Deals. Now, they move constantly. I would, if you don't hit it on the first time, I would try a couple times. It didn't take me but two or three times to get it from $28 all the way down to $21. And then you'll see it and it'll be like, it'll only be like a buy now button, but you can purchase it and you'll get it. Shipping has increased phenomenally. I think from the time I pressed click to when I got this was less than 10 days. So it's, um, shipping has definitely increased, but so I wanted to because the GMKs that I have, I purchased back a while ago um, and I did not have a plastic sheeting, but I'm curious to see if this plastic that you guys are talking about is actually a PET sheet and will allow for better sound. Now I've been using the PET mod as well as the LDPE mod. Um, LDPE is a plastic that Ziploc bags are made out of and PET plastic is crafting plastic. You can buy in sheets. I'm, I've seen them as thin as four, mil, four mils, but even four mils, which this might be, if that's what it is, um, I have to puncture the holes through. With the LDPE or the Ziploc bags, the, the um, switches make the holes themselves. So I went ahead and picked up a white one. I can put this aside for now. I think we've all seen what comes in a GMK. All right. So here we go, and I can see that plastic right there. Yeah, that definitely, see that's a soft plastic. So let me go ahead and open it up, but I'm gonna show you what you can do with this if you don't want to remove the plastic. This one's a little bit thinner. So push down and then drag it up and you'll be able to slide it along and start declipping it. I would suggest never using a metal spudger because that is very likely to break clips. I have yet, knock on wood, to break any plastic clips when I use a plastic spudger. All right. I like to make sure all the clips are off before pulling this off. And then, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to take this apart, but that's exactly what I see because having to take this all apart just to get to these switches seems like, seems a little silly, right? Well, it, this is pretty soft plastic, but if you want to go ahead and use this and not go through the trouble of opening it all up, this is what I'd recommend. Take an X-Acto blade knife and punch the center holes. Yeah, this, this is pretty thin plastic so obviously be mindful of where this cable is because you obviously don't want to punch it so probably best to pick it up so for the center post exacto knife and turn So now I've gone through and I've punched all the middle post holes out of the plastic. I'm going to go ahead and find me. We may be able to just use the switches here, but we may need to do something more. So find a five pin switch and see if this will punch the holes through. Oh, let me give it a little bit of support here. All right. 
it looks like a five pin switch will punch the rest of the holes out so all you really need to do is do the center hole because the center post of the switch doesn't have any sharp edges so it's just pushing it's not it's not puncturing through but as we see when we have five pin switches as long as you're supporting the back it'll go right through it'll the the legs because that's soft enough plastic i'm going to guess it's probably about a two mil but leaving that plastic on is going to make for a better sound uh, the leo bog the ala f87 um, a few boards now are starting to add this layer of pet plastic and it I can't I'm not a sound engineer I, I, I do think that it acts kind of like a low-pass filter like the tape mod does but in different frequencies because it does deliver a much nicer sound um, from keys all right so doing that I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and let me see what switches should I all right um only thing I don't have set aside for a build at the moment is uh this I call this the clear milk it is a franken switch it is made from the body of a um, ice milk ice mango milk i think texi and the stem a clear um halo clear stem so it's a nice like a medium weight tactile that has a nice poppy sound to it and um it is lubed so i'm gonna go ahead and load these up this is a Similar to many medium kind of, but it's, think of a clear, it sounds like a clear and a milky housing. Like say if you had a brown, a Gatoron brown milky and you put the stem in it, it sounds very similar to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these up on here, then find some keys and load it up to give you a sound test of what it sounds like keeping the plastic in. Now, for some reason you don't like pushing really hard to make those other pin holes, you can always use a pair of tweezers and punch through the tiny uh, pin holes for the uh, five pin switches, the plastic pins. So that'll make make it easier so it doesn't have to punch through because some, some legs will punch through, some will not. So in case you have any issues, you can go ahead and do that and it'll make it easier for the switch to go in. But again, you want to make sure that it's all the way in the plate, but also in the socket. Now that we have all the switches loaded, we can go ahead and reassemble it. So basically I'm just gonna do a stock sound test, but I've left the, what I assume is either PET or LDPE plastic in there so that you guys can hear what a stock one would, because I would consider this a new revision since they're adding something new in there. Who knows if they made any changes to the PCB. Um, I'll have to check out the software and see maybe we can finally um, remap the knob I don't know yet but right now I just want to do a sound test with this plastic sheeting that like I said I've read that people are taking it out I would recommend leaving it in obviously uh, you know it is your your keyboard so you know do what you feel that you're comfortable with and if you want to do this um, and you're using three pin, pin switches it shouldn't be a problem always punch out the middle post and 
if you're using three pin switches or if you just want to cut off those two extra legs, which I don't recommend. I recommend just going through and punching the holes for those extra side pins using a set of tweezers. Now let's pick a keycap set. All right, I got this keycap set a while ago and completely forgot about it. it got hidden underneath and a couple of empty boxes. It's ASA um, Carbon. I don't know. It's listed as um, Opoquenthi, but I saw it as Guthenberg. I don't know. It's seen it under several different names on Amazon, but it was on sale when I purchased it. So I think I have other sets from the same company, but I'm not sure very heavy packaging here but let's go ahead and load it up all right so here we are with a stock GMK, which I assume is a newer revision, though there's nothing on the outside that would really uh, indicate that. The fact that it has a plastic sheet. Um, keyboards don't usually come to where you have to disassemble them and reassemble them. They can come in kits, which are already disassembled, um, and you may need to open the case, but there is, there should be no need to take apart the plate and the PCB assembly. That plastic is in there because it is part of what helps make the keyboard sound much better. I mean, this... This does not sound like a $21 keyboard. It sounds much more expensive if i were to do a blind test even a year ago and like put up like some expensive group buy boards and then a cheap off the shelf board and done this i'm sure that people would have picked one of the more expensive kits as it sounds much better than it has any right of sounding so quick tip um like i said i i had read it a couple of times and i'm like what's going on but i got my gmk 67s when they first came out i want to say late last year early this year and all the ones that i had did not have that but when i was like all right i gotta find out i mean who, who can pass up a 21 dollars keyboard i mean this will probably end up going to a friend or family member because everyone's really enjoying this keyboard so that plastic whether it be pet or ldpe it acts the same as a low pass filter i mean it it would sound even a little bit better if i did a tempest tape mod but just that plastic alone takes this keyboard to a whole nother level so if you have bought purchased the gmk 67 um and it's newer and it has that plastic i mean it's your choice to remove it if you want but you can get an X-Acto knife and you can get some tweezers. You can punch out the holes so that you can put the switches through it. And that's going to add another layer. And I think almost a it's significant. It makes a significant difference when it comes to how the keyboard sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the sound test of this GMK67 with the plastic still on. And I just went out and cut the hole. So if you have the holes... I mean, if you have the plastic and you want to get the best sound out of the keyboard, then I'd suggest taking this step. Again, you can go ahead and disassemble and take it out. It's still going to sound pretty good, but I think that it sounds much better. Um, I don't have a stock one to compare to. I will see. i pretty sure I did a stock sound test of a GMK. I'll see if I can find one, but I've since changed microphones and recording and everything like that, so it probably won't be the same. So I probably won't be doing that, but I'm sure there's plenty of other GMK67 videos that are stock. Um, now, granted, I am using a Franken switch on here, but it's, like I said, it's very similar to a um, to just a medium tactile switch, um, and it just has a nice sound. And of course, the the ASA keycaps, um, they're thicker and deeper, so they're going to add to the tone. But that plastic, I think you'll be able to hear it 
underneath everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the sound test. If you have any questions about this or if you want some more guidance on how to find them at this price. Um, now, I believe it's U.S. only, although I have seen some people in the EU find them for cheaper, but cheaper meaning more in the 30 pound range or 30 euro range as opposed to 20 dollar range. But if you guys want some more guidance on that, let me know or jump on over to our Discord server, discord.budgetkeeps.com. And we have a sales channel and there's, I think there's a constant um, post about how to get to these links and how to find this keyboard at a better price. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.